Hey everybody! So, it's been, I think, a month or so. But, um, I'm gonna do the Draw My Life thingamabob. And, I don't really know how to start. I probably will just go right with, you know, well, let's see. <laughs> I didn't prepare very well, did I? I was born December 13th. So, is that? <laughs> Hold on, guys. That's my leg. It's kind of scary. There, that should be easier for me to hold. And my childhood. Huh, it helped. Was average. And I'm losing the paper. But even since about little third grade me, my long hair, I, I'm bad at this, aren't I? I'm not talking a lot, am I? I liked writing. One of my first stories that I remember is about... Can I put this somewhere, please? I don't understand. Does that work? That might work. For now. I'm like, angle it over. Anyway. <laughs> I remember it was about a woman. We'll give her shorter hair. Who fell in love with a man. <laughs> He's got beautiful hair. But, um, I add some little hearts, because why the hell not? Anyway, <laughs> they were in love, yay! But later down the road, the wife found out that, that her husband, I'm trying to think of how to do this, I'm sorry, was killer and not like because he looked good <laughs> he was a serial killer okay and i'm really bad at this i'm sorry i saw that like a million times how she found out was there was a box in the closet that's a terrible box max don't look at it please that spilled open There's the stuff spilling out my head. I'm trying to look at this through the camera, so it's kind of hard for me. Of dead people. Of the people that this her husband killed. So it was like, pick of Vic. That's beautiful. And I that's the first story, I guess. It was a short story. I wasn't, I think it was like a page. And then, I didn't really write a lot up until 8th grade. Yeah, 8th grade. And, like I said, I had an average growing up. I was picked on like a lot of other kids. I was... I looked funny. <laughs> I still look funny. No. But... In the grade, I met a pretty important person in my life. Her name is Susie. And she's been my friend since 8th grade. And I love her. Gross. <laughs> no, 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 no. But she was really good at drawing, so she'd be ashamed of me right now. This is Susie. She always wore her hair back in a ponytail. So let's try it. My God. There's her ponytail. <laughs> Oh, Susie, I'm sorry. And there she is. And I went to a small school, so it was probably like, let's see, there was Susie, Sarah. Susanna and Sarah and myself were the closest. Like, I was closest to Susanna and Sarah. Sarah and I don't really talk anymore, which kind of makes me sad. 
But it's partially my fault because I never talked to her. <laughs> I mean, it takes two, two to tango, you know? So anyway, let's go up here. Sue's got me into drawing. Let's see. Oh, poop. Let me erase that real quick. Childhood! <laughs> I'm having a way difficult time with this. So she got me into drawing. And I got her into writing. And back, back to 8th grade. <laughs> Still kind of in 8th grade. Um, I wrote story. I wrote a story about my obsession. Wolves. It was a pretty, I never finished it. It was probably, if, and if, probably like five pages. And how, what I mostly remember, I don't really remember a lot about it, but <laughs> what I remember most is that it started with this song, Ba Ba Black Sheep. So I'm going to draw you a sheep. Pop, pop. And here's his head. <laughs> Beautiful. With the little. Yep. Ignore the sad face. The sheep, he's not sad. Ba Ba Black Sheep. Yeah. Suzanne and I have stayed strong. We've had our ups and downs like any friends. But not, it wasn't anything dramatic, but she's been through losses and I've been through losses. We've both been there for each other. This is from me, not Susanna. And after eighth grade, I thought I was going to a high school where all my friends were going. You know where I ended up? I ended up at Davidson, which made me sad and angry. I was kind of pissed, too, because my dad went behind my mom and my back, and I ended up going to the shithole. But when one door closes, another one opens, and I met. Another special person in my life. Her name. My camera would focus. But she's pretty. Not that Susanna's not pretty. Oh, I'm a horrible friend, aren't I? But she's pretty, damn it. Anyway. And your eyes are way up there. Not very important. Another very important person. Her name is... Oh, God. <laughs> Panic attack. Megan. I love her too. But pfft, not everything good lasts. And it wasn't her fault. It was my own. Because not probably last year I broke off our friendship. And I thought, thought I was doing okay. But I wasn't. <laughs> And I just, I mean, people always say, cut out people from your life if they make you feel this way. But, I mean, there's two people involved. And I realized that we both needed each other a lot. Yeah. And, like I said earlier, when one door closes, another opens. Because when Megan and I were fighting, well separated <laughs> we're totally a couple but dang flab it when we weren't friends for that duration for those month couple months i went back to a high school friend that i met at anderson which was grown up davidson i met a friend named eric he's a good guy let's try and draw him <laughs> and he's happy-go-lucky He's chipper. I like him. He's a nice guy. I think I already said that. And now, I have my three good friends.
and just draw their faces. With hair, of course, because otherwise it's creepy. Susanna actually recently got short hair, so I'm going to draw her like that. Megan's growing her hair back out. <laughs> we'll give her longer hair. Now I gotta give them bodies just because. Yeah. So I got my three good friends. I don't know what I'd do without them. Yet, there are days that I don't want any of them. And it's not their fault. There's nothing wrong that they're doing. I want to make that point very clear. My problem is my depression. Oh, frig. I don't remember if there's two Bs. I'll put a little question mark there. Which has ended up making me suicidal and have anxiety. And other fun stuff. Along with the suicide stuff. I've been impatient. Let's see. <laughs> I gotta think about it. Isn't that great? I think. Four times? Four. Four or five. It's between. I want. Once I had to. Yeah, four. <laughs> and each time was a learning experience, trust me. I'm not interesting people. First three times were when I was an adolescent, and I feel like the place I went didn't really treat me well. Not like they abused me or anything, just they didn't really care. They just, because I was a teenager, they treated me like I was a child. They didn't listen very well. Anyway. <laughs> I have a dog. <laughs> My god. Yeah. This video is getting kind of long, but I still have so much to talk about. Not a lot, a lot, but... Well, I've been writing. It's My hobbies, writing, drawing, reading. It's the generic stuff. Um... And I really want to stress that I do love my friends. I really do. I love them. I love them a lot. Because I don't know where what kind of person I'd be without them. And I, I wish them no harm. Like I said, sometimes they're annoying as fuck. No. <laughs> no, sometimes there's depression... Decides to be an asshole. Um, <laughs> awkward silence. Hey. It's hard to always be in this kind of mood where I'm like, like, to to know that these three people changed my life. And I still have my rough days. But because I have these three, I'm so much better. Oh, and before I forget, there's another special person in my life. Her name is Angeline. She's like my little my little girl. <laughs> she's my she's uh Megan Sis. Try and get this. She is currently three. And she keeps me going too. Because she she just became so important in my life. And I'm gonna cry. <laughs> Making myself emotional. And we've all had our hard times. Some of us harder than others, but it doesn't matter because just because I feel like my childhood was average doesn't mean it wasn't hard. 
I want you to understand that maybe your parents treated you well. They didn't abuse you. They didn't um, torture you or psychologically do bad things to you. Like Emotionally, mentally, and physically, they kept you well. That doesn't mean shit. You have a mental disorder or whatever. Life is just hard. I've had depression all my life. And there are days that it's easier than others, but I mean, don't don't just judge people because you think their life is hunky dory or because you think you have it worse than them. Everybody feels different and just chill, okay? <laughs> be chill help each other don't be a little pricks to everybody like everybody don't be a little prick and i guess that's my video kind of went on a rant but <laughs> that's my job no but seriously stay strong everybody and i might not know you i may not love you but i i you're important to somebody. Somebody loves you. Even if that ain't me. I don't know who the hell you people are. That doesn't mean that I want you to hurt yourself. I don't want you to feel bad. Because I know what that feels like. So stay strong. Survive the emotions. And be well.